What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining me today. Today, I'm uh, I'm cooking some briskets for a graduation party, just a couple of them. And uh, I wasn't planning on filming this, but I thought, why not make a video out of it if I'm going to be cooking? So that's what we're going to do today. I've got a couple of briskets. And these, uh, unlike the last brisket video you saw that I cooked on my Weber Smoky, or my uh, Weber Kettle, these I'm going to cook on my Weber Smoky Mountain. Now, I already have the briskets trimmed up. I didn't show that part. The last video I made was pretty long, and I got into detail about like what I look for in trimming the brisket. So I figured uh, in this one, I wouldn't include that uh, part of the video or th that part of the process, the trimming. If you want to see how I trim the briskets, I will leave a link to my last video in the uh, description box below. Just click on the show more and it'll take you there. So these briskets, <clears throat> excuse me, these briskets that, I, um, that I'm cooking tonight, I've, I, I've already trimmed them up. And one was about a little over 16 pounds. I think, actually I think it was 16 and a half pounder. And the other one was a 13 and a half pounder. So I've got them trimmed up. We're gonna season them up. I'm gonna show you how I set my Weber Smoky Mount up for cooking briskets. Um, again, the last one I did was on the Weber Kettle. This one is going to be on the Weber Smoky Mountain. So, um, again, the briskets are trimmed up. You can probably see them right here. Got one trimmed up there and one down here. So we're going to get them seasoned up. I'm going to show you what I'm actually going to use to season these. And I, I will show you how I have my Weber Smoky Mountain set up for a brisket cook. So those of you that uh, have a Weber Smoky Mountain and wanna know how to cook a brisket on the Weber Smoky Mountain, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Again, there are you know several different ways, but this is the way that I do it. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Let's get these briskets seasoned up. And uh, it is about, it's about 7.15 on a Friday night uh, right now. I'm not gonna get these on until about midnight. But we're going to go ahead and get them seasoned up so they've got a couple hours to just kind of sit in the seasoning and then we'll get them on the smoker. So let's get this video started. Boom. All right, so I have my brisket here in a pan. And the very first rub that I'm going to use is actually this uh, cash cow beef rub from Big Papa Smokers. You guys can see that. This is uh, this rub is like really concentrated. And what it does, though, is it um, it helps enhance that beef flavor. So, where did I put it? For the binder today, I'm actually going to use some Worcestershire sauce. Got some here that I'm going to use. And, uh, you know, sometimes I use a binder, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on the mood that I'm in. And this is... Uh, one of the nights that I'm gonna use a binder. So we're gonna use some Worcestershire. That goes good to beef, in my opinion. We get that uh, wiped down. Since I'm cooking this fat side up on my Weber Smoky Mountain, I'm gonna season the meat side first. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm sure get some all on the side. I'm actually gonna come on the side here with this get the side seasoned up <clears throat> and then I'm going to come back over the top and just give it a light coating it doesn't need a lot like I said this rub is, is kind of concentrated so it doesn't need a lot that's all you need right there and again, this, this uh, cash cow is simply going to enhance that beef flavor. So instead of injecting, you can use that rub to kind of help with that. The next rub I'm going to use <clears throat> is the Texas Best Brisket Rub from Heaven Made Products. This is a really, really good rub. It's got a nice little sweetness to it that I really, really like. So we're going to use this rub as the um i'm gonna call it the first rub this base rub is that cash cow but i'm gonna call this texas best brisket rub from heaven made products and if you haven't tried it 
you need to get your hands on some. But we're going to take this rub and give this brisket a good coating. And I'm only going to show one brisket. I'm going to do the other brisket exactly the same. But I'm only going to show you one. That's all it needs. Again, this rub has a lot of flavor. It's low in sodium. So if you're looking for a rub that's uh, low in sodium, this is your rub. The Heaven Made products, all of his rubs, Michael Petrie, uh, all of his rubs are low in sodium. And, uh, but it does not, um, uh, you're, you're not sacrificing like flavor, you know, the salt flavor and stuff with this, this rub. This, I don't know how he does it, but he does it. <laughs> And this rub is a good rub, you guys. I love this rub on some beef. When I'm cooking for a gig like this one, or you know any kind of party or anything like that, I'm using this Texas Best Brisket Rub from Heaven Made Products a lot of times as uh, one of my rubs. So this brisket is a big piece of meat. It can take a lot of rub. Don't be afraid to rub it in there or over rub it it'll be just fine you want to make sure you get some good flavor in that again don't rub the rub just pat it down and then I'm gonna come with um, this last rub I'm gonna use or this, this second rub I'm gonna use is Mo Quezon's beef rub if you haven't tried this stuff this is some good good stuff you guys we're gonna get that season on here. This one, now the Heaven Made Products is uh, low in sodium. This one here is uh, a little higher. It's higher in sodium. It has more of that like salt, pepper uh, taste uh, that you know Texas rubs are known for. Even though Mo Quezon isn't from Texas, this is a really, really good rub. So we're gonna get that on top. And then we'll get it flipped over and do the same thing to the other side. So this rub here, make sure we get it on it. We don't, we don't want to waste any of that rub. Both of these are excellent rubs and when you put them together, man oh man, that's some good stuff. So since, I, since I'm going to cook this, uh, these briskets fat cap up, I'm, I'm seasoning the meat side first. But if you were gonna cook your briskets meat side up, I would season the fat side first. That way, you know, when I flip it over, I don't have to, you know, if, if I was gonna cook this fat cap up, if I would have seasoned this side first, flipped it over, seasoned the meat side, then I, I would lose some of this rub um, once I'm seasoning the meat side, so. However, I'm going to cook it, you know, whether it's fat cap up, fat cap down, I'm always going to cook, uh, season that side last. So we got that. We got this, again, Big Papa Smokers, Cash Cow. This is some really good stuff, you guys. It's going to give it a really good beefy flavor, just like an injection would. So if you're looking for a rub to add that beef flavor without having to inject, this is it. Nice coating or light coating. Come back with the Texas Best Brisket Rub from Heaven Made Products. I'm gonna give this a good coating. Oh, this smells so good. Again, don't be afraid to over over uh, rub it. This is a big piece of meat that can handle it. <clears throat> and then we're gonna come back with the Mo Quezon's beef rub. So 
So here, you know, these two rubs combined, or actually these three rubs, what you're getting is you're adding some extra beef flavor to it. You're getting a nice sweetness from the, the Heaven Made Products Texas Best Brisket Rub. And then you're getting that salt and pepper flavor from the Mo Quezon Rub. So that's it. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to season up the other brisket and um, we'll head outside and I'll show you how I have my Weber, my Weber Smoky Mountain set up. All right, you guys, let me show you how I have my Weber or Smoky Mountain set up. The first thing I did is, if you see here, this is the water pan, and I lined it with foil. What that does is it helped for easy cleanup after the cook. But here, I've loaded the basket up with uh, uh, a whole bunch of uh, Kingsford uh, uh, charcoal briquettes, and the log is actually pecan. The chunks are actually oak. And the, the, the reason I like to use like a whole log instead of just chunks when I'm using my Weber Smoky Mountain is as this burns, it's gonna burn slowly all the way down throughout the entire cook. So I'm getting constant smoke throughout the entire cook compared to if I would have just put logs all the way around. But what would happen is as it burns, It'll burn, and then once it hits the the uh, chunks, I'll get some smoke. And then once it the chunks burn out, then the smoke goes away until I hit the other piece of a uh, chunk that I put in there. But with the a log, I get a a continuous burn throughout the entire cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to light this yet, but I'm going to take my Weber starter cube cube. I'm going to put it down in here, down in the bottom and then once it's time to light it i'll light that and what will happen is these coals as they light will slowly light the other coals that aren't lit yet and this is going to give me hours and hours of cook time i'll adjust my vents the vents will probably be about uh halfway closed if not a little bit less than that on the bottom vents the same with the top vents but this is how i uh, normally we'll set up my Weber Smoky Mountain. Again, I like the log because I get a continuous burn on the entire log as it's cooking. So that's, you know, a continuous smoke that's hitting the briskets. Um, you can use just chunks. I've done that before. You know, that works also, but this is the method that I prefer. And again, you can use whatever wood you like. Uh, I'm just a big fan of a mixture of oak and pecan. So that's why I have it set up this way. I'll probably put a couple of, a couple of other like small pieces of oak, uh, you know, on this side of each log or on, on each side of the log here. But this is how I have it set up. And this is why I have it set up this way. Again, my water pan is lined with foil for easy cleanup. So when the cook is done, I could just uh, fold up the foil, throw it away. I will fill that with water uh, throughout the cook, but um, right now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna light it or anything. I just wanted to show you guys how I have this set up because when I do light it, it's gonna be dark and I'm not gonna film it. So probably the next time I pick up, it might be when I put them on. Um, it might be in the morning. We'll see but um sorry <laughs> sorry but this is how I, how I have it set up and why i have it set up this way are you guys the uh, briskets are uh, on got them here got my weber uh, smoky mountain set up got the water pan down here full of water put the briskets on so we're gonna let this run um probably for a couple hours before we start spritzing on this one. So at the probably about the two hour mark, uh, we'll start spritzing on this one. So this is what it looks like right now. And then we'll pick back up uh, in a couple hours. All right, you guys, these briskets have been going actually for about five hours. And uh, I'm just gonna, you know, spritzing with, uh, I'm just using some beef broth. So this is what they're looking like.
So we're going to continue to um, let this go. This bark, yeah, this bark is almost set. I think it can go just a little bit longer. And then we'll wrap. It's starting to get that color that I like. So let's sit here. And the temperature has actually been uh, at uh, 250 for the entire cook. So one thing I love about this Weber Smoky Mountains, they definitely hold a consistent temp. So this is what they look like. Um, the next time I pick up, we'll wrap them up in some foil and uh, I'll show you what that looks like once we get to that point. All right, you guys, these briskets are ready to wrap. Look at that color. That's some nice color right there. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get this glove off. Take a... Oh man, that, that rub is good. Yeah, we're in that stall. 162, that was the first one was 160, 166. So we're in, we're in that stall. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap these. But um, again, I'm not wrapping because we're in the stall and we hit a certain temperature. I'm wrapping because it's got enough smoke on it. The color of the bark is uh, where I want it. And that's when I determine when to wrap. You know, when the, when the bark gets to the 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 color I like then I'll wrap and for this I'm just gonna add some uh, beet broth to the foil when I wrap it so let's get this and get that down a little bit <clears throat> man Oh, that tastes so good. Just get your foil. Add the beef broth. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Oh man, that little chunk that I took off. Good gosh almighty. Man, that's gonna be good. Put that there. Throw that in there, double wrap it, and then we're gonna get it back on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I have not added any charcoal to the Weber Smoky Mountain, and it's been running for, I think we're at the seven hour mark now, so. And I'm not gonna need to add any more. Get the other one wrapped up, and then uh, we're gonna put them back on the Weber Smoky Mountain and let them go for another two hours. All right, you guys, these briskets are done. That's what they look like. So the total cook time was uh, nine and a half hours. Um, I left them wrapped uh, for actually two and a half hours. I went a little longer than uh, normal. And the internal temperature uh, was pretty even across the, the board. It was like 210, 209, and then in the point, and 208 in the flat. Um, I'm not going to cut this brisket up. The person I cooked it for asked if I could leave them whole. So we're not going to be able to get in and give it a taste test, which I'm really disappointed in because I wanted to taste it bad boy. But you know what? I'm going to pull some off of down here. Mm, hot, hot, hot. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That rub combination, man. <laughs> it's good. Really really good but anyway that's what it looks like finished product uh, i'm gonna wrap these up go deliver them and then uh we're gonna head out of town for the day for the uh, weekend um thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed that oh the 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 uh the pit temp on the on the weber smoky mountain it, it uh it actually cooked at um it was about 2 30 was the pit pit temp the entire time I didn't have to add any more charcoal or anything to the cook. Um, so 230 degrees was the temp of the Weber Smoky Mountain for this cook. Anyway, uh, again, just thought I'd film it, wasn't planning on it. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Take care.